I'm Aria Leon. I'm going to guide you through a dynamic movement to help release tension in your lower back. This is something I like to call the spine reset. We'll start lying down on the ground with your feet on the floor and your knees bent. Press your head firmly into the floor. Shrug your shoulders back and down and feel your shoulder blades level on the ground. Witness that natural curve in your lower back, your lumbar spine, like there's a slight tunnel between you and the floor. But your sacrum is grounded, heavy. That's where your pelvis transitions into your spine. And as you rest here, connect with your breath, inhaling deeply through your nose. Open your mouth, exhale, let it go. And we'll do that two more times, inhaling a little deeper. Exhale more generously than before. One more. Taking the deepest breath you've had all day long. Let it go. We'll begin with a dynamic movement to warm up the spine. As you breathe in, lift your feet up towards the sky and extend your arms up over your head. Feel the ground beneath you at the back of your palms, all five of your fingernails on the floor. And as you extend your heels up towards the sky, feel free to have the knees slightly bent so you can maintain the grounding in your sacrum and your shoulder blades with that natural curve in your lower back. This is a pike position. Take a deep breath in. Now as you exhale, tuck your knees into your chest, hold on to your shins with your hands and lift your head off the floor so you can bring your nose between your knees. Apanasana. Now as you breathe in, re-extend your arms up over your head and your feet up towards the sky. Pike. Exhale, send your arms back down towards the ground by your sides, bend your knees and place your feet on the floor, like how we started. From here, ground into your feet and lift your hips up off the floor, finding bridge pose. Now we'll move through those movements, one breath per movement. Exhale, bring your hips back onto the mat. Inhale, lift your heels up, lift your hands up. Exhale, draw your knees into your chest, hold onto your shins and bring your nose between your knees. Inhale, re-extend, arms overhead, feet towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend your knees, bring your feet to the floor, arms by your sides. Inhale, lift your hips up off the ground, bridge pose. Exhale, release your hips back down. Breathe in, send your arms up overhead, heels to the sky. Exhale, knees to chest, hold on to your shins, apanasana. Inhale, re-extend, arms overhead, heels towards the ceiling. Exhale, bend your knees, send your arms down by your sides. Breathing in, lift your hips up off the ground into bridge. Breathe out, send your hips back down. Stay with it. Inhale, arms up, heels up. Exhale, knees to chest, hands to shins, nose to knees. Breathe in, re-extend, arms overhead, heels towards the sky. Exhale, arms by your sides, feet to the floor. Peel your tailbone up off the ground. Inhale to lift your hips into bridge. Exhale, reset your hips back down. One more time. Inhale, lift your heels up, lift your hands up. Exhale, squeeze your knees into your chest, lift your head. Inhale, re-extend arms overhead, feet towards the sky. Exhale, bend your knees, arms by your sides. Lift your hips up one more time, breathe in and exhale to relax your back down onto your mat. Very nice. Now go ahead and interlace your hands behind your head and just support yourself with your palms. Widen your feet so they're as wide as your mat. Tilt your knees towards the right side on your breath out, and then inhale as you tilt your knees back up towards the ceiling. Exhale, go the other way to the left. Inhale, knees back up to center. Go side to side two more times. Exhale, knees to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, knees to the left. 
breathing in through center, this gentle twist, knees to the right, also opens up the psoas. Inhale through center. Now tilt your knees to the left and just keep them like that. Your feet are still as wide as your mat. You could probably feel where your mat ends and the floor begins. Now you can stay here to stretch your right psoas or take your left ankle on top of your right thigh. Guide your right knee towards the earth. Imagine your right ribs can also touch the floor. But the right hip bone is searching for the ceiling. Lift, lift, lift. Create more length in your lower back by drawing your tailbone towards your right knee. And breathe for three, two, one. Uncross your left ankle, keep your feet wide, tilt your knees up and over to the right side. Now the right ankle can rest upon the left thigh to help guide the left knee towards the ground. However, if that hurts your left knee, you don't need to crisscross your ankle. Just energetically reach your left knee towards the floor, and your left ribs. But let the left hip search for the ceiling and find that length in your tail. Breathing into the left side of your waist, your psoas connects your upper half to your lower half. And when we open up the psoas, we open up the lower back. Take two more breaths there. Awesome. Uncross your right ankle, tilt your knees back up towards the ceiling, and then give your knees a hug. You can hold on to your kneecaps and just rock around in circles. Massage your low back into the mat. Reverse the direction of your circles. Well done. Practice this every day and you'll find ease in your lower back from tension and pain. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, my name is Aria Leong. Namaste.